Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am CS the Viking Gamer and we are back with another grounded solo let's play video. Now last time when we left off, we had just built a base camp, we activated the mystery machine and it exploded the oak tree off in the distance. So today we are going to, well we're real quick gonna rest and make it, okay we're gonna wait 30 seconds ish and then we're going to rest, make it day, and we are going to head over to Burgle, activate him, and then start getting some quests. Because we still need the two-story bases so that we can start our actual base. I don't know if this has happened to anyone else, but ants really don't like weevils. And how did that one get up there? Eh, we'll figure it out later. All right, uh, let's see, let's see. Do we have, we do have some food on us, so that's good. Uh, that means in the morning, ah, 20 more seconds. Uh, that means in the morning, we don't have to go and hunt for food. We can just head over there, grab some water, and there's an aphid. We can head over, grab some water, and once we have the water, we can, slippery little bugger, aren't you? We can drink up and, oh, this'll do, drink up, and then we will just top off our food afterwards. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everything is ready to go now. We're just real quick going to put this on here. My cat loves to interrupt me while I'm gaming, so every so often if you see me just stop moving altogether, it's because my cat has jumped on the Perhaps table, and I've got to put him in his cat tree, which is next to the computer. And you might hear some meowing every so often. He loves to interrupt the game. Okay, so it's daytime now. Let's get some nasty, disgusting water. Uh, this will have to hold us over until we get a shovel, because we need a shovel to get some grubs. We need the grubs to get the canteen. But not bad. All right. So now let's head over to Burgle. Uh, we'll discover a couple things along the way. I'm gonna really focus on getting the aha first one. Uh, focus on getting the juice boxes. You know what? I'm not going to drink that yet, because if I drink it now, it's just going to go away, and if I leave it, once we have a canteen, I can come back and grab it all up. Okay, so there's some more mushrooms. There's the oak tree there. Alright, I might get a little turned around here or there, but I will find my way. Eventually. Ladybug. So we've got our hammer with us. You know what? While we're by the oak tree, let's grab up some acorns. Uh, abandoned anthill. Ooh, that means that there is a bunch of acorns right on the other side of this route. Uh, wow, two ladybugs. All right. Here we go. All right, so there's an orb weaver down there. I don't want to get his attention. I want these acorns. Now, we don't necessarily need the acorn tops, but I'm going to take that from you. Uh, we don't need the acorn tops, but we do need the acorn shells, because the shells are going to get us some acorn armor. And for now, I'm going to gather up the acorn tops as well, because uh, we will end up using those for a couple of things down the line. Uh, first the thing we're going to use them for is for the smoothie machine, because that is that is a very valuable thing to have. If you don't have one in your game, I highly recommend it. You can make ten smoothies, they stack ten high, uh, and even the most basic one, the green machine smoothie, it's an instant heal. Does not take away, or does not get replenished uh, Thirst, which is weird because it's a smoothie, but it does replenish hunger, and that is going to be really helpful. So it's an instant heal, and it replenishes hunger, so that is going to be probably our go-to for food, especially since it's so easy to make. It does not take a whole lot of resources. Alright, grab these. I think that's going to be enough. You know what? Before we head inside to Burgle, let's grab up a couple more resources here. 
Uh, see if we can't make some bandages. Uh, here's another one. And I also want to make a second spear. Uh, not because I'm expecting this one. Aha, there's a grub right there. So once we have a shovel, we can dig them up and use them to make a canteen. Now, the reason I want a second spear is because I'm decent at throwing the spear to catch things with the spear. And a thrown spear does a lot of damage. So if we use that against the really, really annoying uh, floating... Words are escaping me. Uh, against the floating robot, that should give us... Uh, fine, I'll just put this one apart. Uh, that should give us enough damage to deal with him without having to get too close to him for too long, because they updated the amount of damage that those guys do, and it it hurts. It hurts a lot. Now, I'm not gathering up all the uh, acorn bits here. You know, I'll grab one, because then we've discovered it. But I'm not gathering them up, because right now I don't need the acorn bits. I have, I have some food. Uh... You know, I say that, and now I'm second-guessing myself. I could... Oh, well, let's discover the juice box real quick. I want to discover all the juice boxes pretty early on, because the... I thought I spotted one. Aphid honeydew is really, really valuable if you can get a hold of it. I want to discover all the juice boxes for the mutation that it gives. Uh, it is the same as wearing the clover armor all the time. So that will let us wear higher leveled armor without having to worry about uh, going hungry or thirsty all the time. And I know I'm playing on mild difficulties, so we're not worrying about it as much, but it is going to be a thing that we are going to be concerned about. So I'm going to gather up a few of these acorn bits now that I'm thinking about it, because... Uh, that will help us with the food situation. Oh, discovered the soda can. Uh, now, the food situation is decent. We can find weevils and aphids uh, relatively easily. And once we have the shovel, we're going to be drowning in grub meat. But the acorn bits are pretty nice. They don't spoil. And that will allow us to not have as many worries, even more so. Okay. So there's the science. So this game has taught me one thing. Uh, purple is the color of science. For whatever reason. Which I find hilarious, because Disney has taught me that green is the color of evil. Now, if you don't know that, look at any Disney movie, and they use green for all the evil characters whether it's their color or the magics or sorceries or whatever that they happen to be using that is that is that is, that is what they're using it's great be real there we go okay that's open oh darn it i forgot to craft the spear okay fine Well, we're going to use an axe, like a proper Viking would. Ah, come on, I gotcha. Ah, there we go. Yeah, from now on, an axe is our go-to. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Myrtle, huh. and I will be serving That's you new. today. I specialize in... Or maybe it's not new, and I've just never noticed. Grilling, a feature useful only to your obsolete burger-flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap. I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Attending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Uh, I'm gonna, since I know he has dialogue, I'm going to hold off until the Good. recorder fails. Grab that. Prioritizing grilling. Where are you okay. 
There we go. Thanks for the helping hand. Let's get Burgle up. Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. I suspect you were miniaturized and brought here by the ominent researchers. Unfortunately, this is all speculation, because a power surge has knocked out all the systems in this lab. I don't suppose you would know anything about that. No, why would you? Okay, moving on. <laughs> the batteries here are completely trusted. He is very trusting. We'll need to charge them up. In the meantime, I'll stay here and work on repairs. I'm also happy to answer whatever poo -poo -poo questions you might have. Okay. Uh, you know what, before we talk to him, uh, I know there's some more science over here. Yep, there it is. Another hundred science. Okay. Now, a couple of my friends, when we play multiplayer, they insist that the science respawns. I don't think it does. Here you go, take your burgle chip. Uh, you know what, let's grab the quests now. Uh, Nat kill- ah, I hate hunting gnats. It is so difficult to hunt gnats because they move so much. Oh, no, they won't make a bow today. Alright. Uh, Multi-story bases. We... Ah, oh, we don't have enough. Darn it. Oh, you know what? I've got a couple of things that can be analyzed. So let's analyze a couple of things. I have two things. I was hoping for more, but you know what? That's okay. Come on, give me that juicy, delicious science. Okay. Well, I was hoping for a little bit more, but that's okay. Uh, do we have enough? I still don't think so. No. Okay, so we need 60 more science. For the second, for the two-story bases. Well, they call it multi-story bases. Okay, uh, I should have opened that from the other side. Oh well, I'll deal with it later. Uh, for now, let's go have a quick look around. Try not to get eaten by spiders. For any who don't know, do not go that way. Do not go that way unless you are ready to get eaten by a wolf spider. Because they are right there. Okay. So we've got some food. We don't have any liquids, but that's okay. Let's head over this way. I have to kill gnats, not weevils. Darn it, I prefer the weevil hunting ones. They're so much easier to find. Alright. Let's, uh... You know what? Let's head over here. Real quick. Kind of out of the way. I know there's a bunch of gnats over by that lamp over there. But, ah! Wrong button. Alright, so let's craft up another spear. Uh, oof, I'm running out of room. Uh, I have one of these elsewhere, so I'm just going to trash that. Uh, let's eat some of this aphid honeydew. Eh, one more. We'll top off everything. Oh, it's worse than death. <coughs> yeah. Cough. Alright, uh, I said I was going to make some of these and I never did. So let's make four bandages. Okay, that's better. And that frees up some inventory space. Brussels sprouts. Uh, great oak beacon. That'll give us... That should give us 100 science. So that will probably be the easiest. Now if I remember correct... The great oak beacon is somewhere around here. Uh, you know what? We have a map. Which does not really help us. Okay, well, to make the marker, we're going to need some more sprigs, and I've got a clover leaf. Uh, now, this is going to be an interesting part of the Let's Play series, because I'm not usually the explorer in games like this. I leave that to my friends. So, uh... 
if I, if I look like I am completely lost when it gives me one of those, hey, go here and put this marker down quest, uh, that's because I am. I do not have uh, a lot of these locations memorized off the top of my head. I've got a couple of areas that I like to build in memorized. Uh, I know where a couple things of resources are, but that's kind of it. I do not remember where the Great Oak Marker goes. And I've got to go back to get the slime mold to make the slime mold sconce, or the slime mold torch, not sconce. Don't make sconces. Slime mold especially, don't do those. They are very bad, they will mess you up a lot. And if you want to know why they're bad, go ahead and check out my last video where I explain what happened the last time I made a slime mold sconce. I think this might be it over here. Ooh, science. Uh, but there's probably a spider over there. Note to self. Pay more attention when everyone else is exploring. And I don't have a dandelion tuft, so I can't take my usual way to get down from these, which is usually just run and jump. I hate getting lost in these videos. So, uh, I'm looking at the time now, and we're starting to get to that point where I'm going to need to start cutting the video a little bit. Wow, five ladybugs all in a row. Sounds like a messed up Christmas song. Five ladybugs. Anyways, a little weird. I have not had enough coffee to not be weird yet today. <sighs> Alright, so we're just, we're just going to leave this for now. I know there's more science somewhere. Um, you know, what? we're gonna we're gonna discover that uh, juice box over there because I need to discover it anyway, and hopefully not get killed while we're at it. Oh, I hear science nearby. Wow, I've never seen what the front of the box looks like before. Lemon Crime. Huh, catchy name. This kid is so weird. I mean, he, he says stuff like that and it makes me go, Have, do, do you just not look at the things that you're eating? I mean, I mean, I get that he's a picky eater. And if you, if you listen to some of the stuff he says while he's eating things. I, I've played with this uh, teen a lot of times in this game. And every single time he eats something, he complains about it. Like, every time. The only thing he didn't complain about that I've seen was, uh, what was it? I think it was, I think it was the jerky. So you know how you can eventually get a jerky rack to dry meat so that it doesn't go bad? That was the only thing I've seen him eat that he didn't just complain about. Is that an ant? How did you get up here? There should be no way for you to get up here. <sighs> Alright. Let's smack him. Ow! I swear if I die from an ant... things. Huh, we have more things. Okay, let's head over to the science, do some research. Uh, must run faster, must run faster. Ah, I wish I had a level 2 axe. I could collect that. Another aphid. Come on. which can research. <sighs> Alright. 
I was really hoping to get the multi-story bases today, but it looks like that's not quite going to happen. Um, you know what? There is one other area we can head to. Uh, it's not going to get us all the science we need, but it's going to get us a lot of the science we need. So, uh, where is it? Actually, I think it's... Is it over here? I know there's a thistle plant nearby. Oh, you know what? There is one thing we can do. We can chop down this dandelion. That'll give us a reed stem, or a weed stem, excuse me. And we can also collect the dandelion tuft. And we can bring these back to our base, because we're going to need them once we have all the science we need. Okay. And I put down a beacon to find our way to the house. The only thing I don't like about carrying a stack of things over your shoulder is that it really inhibits the view. Alright, and I know we haven't analyzed one of these, so let's do the analyze. Alright, and let's see. If my math is correct, that puts us at... What are we at? We're at 980, we need 20 more. Oh, I don't think I've analyzed a grass leaf yet. Alright, if I haven't analyzed this, we'll analyze it. And, yes, excellent. Okay, so that gives us all the science we need. So, uh, real quick, we're gonna... Uh, grass planks are everywhere. We can get rid of that and get more later. But the weed stems are a little bit more valuable. Let's get these back over to the science machine. Uh, we'll run very quickly back over to Burgle, get the multi-story bases, and then we'll cut the video off there. Uh, you know what? Let's put them right here. Since there's that nice little lip there, nothing can really get to it. Okay. Alright, so we are going to run over, grab the, the multi-story bases from Burgle, and then we are going to call it a day there. Um, I'm probably going to run back to base off-camera just so that the video doesn't go really long, and then we will pick it up next time at base, where we will start gathering the supplies needed to make a proper base. Because, I don't know about you guys, but I prefer sleeping with a roof over my head, especially in an area where there are giant monstrous bugs everywhere. Alright. You know what? I think... I can... Yes! Alright. Okay. If you can't tell, I prefer taking high roads to everywhere. Uh, predominantly because there's fewer bugs there, and I absolutely hate spiders, and I do not want to deal with spiders. Like, the very first time I played this game, I walked over here, first time in, spider came walking down, I screamed so hard. Like, okay, maybe not screamed, but I was like, oh my gosh! Really, really loud. <laughs> my husband came from the other room to see what happened. Okay. Alright. Give me the science. Give me that multi-story base goodness. Awesome. Alright. Okay, guys. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it off at. Uh, I'm going to get back to base off camera so that this video doesn't go to the 30 minute mark. Uh, if you liked what you saw, leave a like and comment down below. Go ahead and subscribe for future content. Uh, all comments will be read. I, I didn't say that last time or in the very first video I did, but I will read all comments. I don't know if I'm going to have time to respond to all of them, but I will respond uh, wherever I can. Uh, and if you guys like what you saw and you want me to, I will talk to a few of my friends and we'll get a multiplayer Let's Play put together uh, down the line. And oh, I, al I almost did it again. I, I always forget to equip this before I jump. 
There we go. All right, so I'm going to get back to base, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, victory or Valhalla.